On average, we spend 90% of our time indoors breathing the air, and it's really important to understand quality of that air and how clean it is. My goal is to discover fundamental science that can be used to develop strategies to reduce the impact of air pollution on human health. I am Lindsay Marr, and I am an environmental engineer. I study pollutants in the air, gases, particles, viruses, and bacteria. I'm especially interested in studying transmission of viruses through the air. My group is trying to understand how much transmission occurs by different routes and we use concepts and tools from environmental engineering and aerosol science to track viruses as they move from one person to another. Early in the pandemic, the focus on transmission was on large wet droplets that would come out of your mouth when someone coughs. The idea was that they didn't travel more than six feet. And so if you just maintained a distance of at least six feet away from everyone else, then you couldn't possibly get COVID. It turns out that the virus is released also in much smaller particles that are too small to see. They can float around in the air for a long time and they can travel much farther than six feet. And so it took a big effort by my colleagues and me to overturn this conventional wisdom and help people understand the way the transmission was actually occurring. It's important to clean the air, not just of viruses that might be floating around, but also of other pollutants. There's wildfire smoke, there's particles that are released by cooking, air pollutants that come from the use of personal care products and cleaning products. And so a greater focus on clean indoor air will help reduce our exposure to these and hopefully improve our health.